For this project I'm going to make a butterfly and I started with vitrograph glass and some beads for the antennae. And the antennae um, have the little dots, the small beads at the top, and then the large bead is going to be used for the head. And the vitrograph glass, which is long strands of glass that I uh, got on Etsy, I'm going to use for the body. And I honestly, I mess around with this for probably about 20 minutes trying to figure out what to do um, for the body and I thought I had it here but I think that that uh, glass is just too thin so I end up kind of cutting a bunch of little pieces and putting them together to make a body. I'm going to be doing this project in two parts and here um, I have a nine inch diameter round silicone mold that I've used in previous projects and I'm cleaning it out with some painters tape. I'm just dabbing it around to try to get up any um, residue or pieces of resin or cat hair or whatever out of it because you don't want to uh, scratch it. That's the easiest way to do it. And then I drew a little butterfly just for a little template for me to know where to put the body. And so I'm doing this in two parts. I'm going to lay the resin down first, put the body in the resin, and let it set for four hours. And originally, the second layer, layer I was going to try to do uh, alcohol inks for the feathers in that, or for the feathers, for the <laughs> wings, but... Um, it just became too complicated. So for this project, I'm using J Diction resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin that has no VOCs. You mix them together in a cup, equal amount, slowly for about three to five minutes until they're totally mis mixed, scraping the sides, scraping the bottom. So here I go. It's all um, mixed up. I have about four ounces. I dump it in to my mold and I let it spread out and of course I help it to spread out by <laughs> going back and forth and I want this to be a um, fairly thick project because I want to put eye, uh, eye hooks in the top to hang it in a window not in a window that gets direct sunlight but indirect sunlight and here I'm using my heat gun to get rid of the bubbles. And this is actually an embossing tool. I like the embossing tool better than the heat gun. It does blow some, but it doesn't blow as hard as the heat gun, which can be so strong that it actually blows the glass out of the area that you want it to be in. And you're constantly pushing the glass back. Next, I take some Ashland decorative filler, which is some crushed glass, and it looks kind of gold, and I'm sprinkling it around the perimeter of the project. You can use anything. I had even thought of using those, um, I'm not really sure what you call them. They're like gold flakes. They're almost like um, paper thin. I thought that might look pretty also, and um, you can really use anything to put around the perimeter. Next, I started putting the body and the antennae on. And the reason I'm doing, the other reason besides um, what I had said earlier about using alcohol ink in the second layer, um, the other reason I'm doing it in two layers is I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to make this kind of thick. And if I had put these on and made it as thick as I want, I feel like these pieces of glass would be under the resin and they would probably, I would probably have a hard time getting them to stay <clears throat> where I want them without floating away. So anyway, um, I put the body on and then I let it set for four hours. And I actually took this out of the mold because that's when I was practicing with the mold, making the alcohol ink um, wings, which I uh, am not, I am not using. I'm going to use glass wings, but that is the reason why I popped it out of the mold. Otherwise, you should probably leave it right in the mold. So here I am um, now cutting the glass for the butterfly wings. So I picked this glass piece up at a thrift store. I just thought it was so pretty, and I'm cutting it down straight because I want bigger pieces. If I wanted to make petals, I would be cutting it along the perimeter like this, 
but because I want bigger pieces, I'm cutting it down like this with my nipper tools. And um, sometimes glass is unpredictable and you just don't know how it's gonna break up. And it just happened to be that this large piece broke up perfect so that you could lay it on um, something and make it look like a vase and have flowers coming out of it. I thought that would be so pretty. Isn't that perfect? So over the next minute or so, you're gonna watch me breaking up glass and I'm just cutting it up, trying to find four, a total of four wings, two for the top, two for the bottom. Hopefully the two uh, top ones are a little bit larger than the smaller ones. And this glass is so pretty. I don't know if you can see on it. It is yellow and green like you can see, but it has specks of gold through it too, which I just thought was so uh, pretty and different. And uh, here I am just nipping away at the at the glass and I do end up cutting myself. So when you're using this, if you um, it's in your best interest to wear safety glasses, it's in your best interest to wear gloves. I just cannot manipulate and hold the glass well with the gloves uh, with the gloves on, but it is in your best interest. And also do it in a box, a deep box, and you should be holding the nipper tool down, the nipper tool and the glass down toward the bottom of the box, and that way when the glass flies, it goes into the box. And there is a way to hold the nipper tool so that when you nip the glass, the glass flies in the direction you want it to, like down into the box. And this is how what you have to do. So when you're holding the nippers this way, the glass will fly to your right. If you hold your nippers this way, the glass will fly down. So the back side, whatever way that's pointing is the direction the glass will fly. Everything I use in this video, you can find linked in the description box below the video. So here's the top two wings and I'm pretty happy with those. And next I'm going to show you how I nipped the bottom two wings and I'm kind of going to keep this at the regular speed and not put it in fast speed um, so that you can see exactly how I did it for those of you who are beginners at nipping glass. And so um, once you get one that you're happy with, then what I did was I went ahead and I placed it on top of another piece of glass that I thought would work and I went ahead and I nipped around so that it would be the exact same size or as, as close as I could get to it as possible. Like I said, uh, breaking up glass is not a perfect art. Sometimes you uh, do it and it uh, doesn't break up exactly how you want it to be. So these are the two bottom wings that I'm gonna be using. And you can see how they're not sitting flush against the um, the body and I want them to sit a little bit, um, fit a little bit better. So I just nip that little piece off the edge like that and I go ahead and I do the same thing with the other piece and I think that makes it look a lot better. So next what I'm going to do is I take them out to the garage, the four pieces. Now if you don't have a sander that's fine. I mean you could do it, leave it just like this but I like to take it out and there's a lot of rough edges on it so I'm sanding the edges down. But like I said, you do not need to do that at all. Um, you could even tumble those wings and then uh, put them on if you have a tumbler. You can sand them if you have a sander and if you don't have either, don't worry about it. <laughs> so um, just you just have to remember that the edges will be sharp. So here I am, I turn the sander on and um, really it just takes a minute and I go all the way around the edges and uh, sand it down. And then after they were done, I washed them with soap and water and dried them off well and now they're ready to go for the resin. The resin I'm using for this project is Jade Diction Resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin. This particular resin you can demold in four hours. It completely cures in 24 hours. And I mixed up six ounces and all I'm doing is slowly pouring it over all of the glass. And um, <laughs> I really wished I hadn't. So I had taken the 
the butterfly mold out of out of the mold when it had set because I was trying doing some experimenting with some alcohol ink so in reality you should not take it out because there is a risk when you pour the second layer that some can seep underneath and we really don't want that to happen so I'm hoping that that doesn't happen I've done um, something else this way where I actually popped it out and put it back in for some reason or another but you're best off that the seal's still on it and then when you pour the second um, level of resin it then it wouldn't get underneath it so now I'm just using the heat gun or the embossing tool to get rid of the bubbles and then this has to sit on a flat level surface for at least four hours I will be leaving it here overnight and it should be at temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit all resins are different so you need to read the directions for the resin that you are using and it's all done I'm gonna take it out of the mold now and I think it turned out so pretty I love these colors then my husband drilled a couple holes in the top where I want it to hook the eye hooks to so that I could hang it and this is only if you want to hang it you don't you could put it in a stand or lean it on a shelf if you want and um, then of course we had to put the eye hooks in and I just love the way it turned next, out. Next I was hunting for a chain for my um, to put through feed through the eye hooks and I have a ton of junk jewelry this bunch I really haven't sorted through yet but I did manage to get these uh, this necklace out and uh, pull it apart from this whole pile of jewelry that's tangled up and um, after I untangled it and took the one piece off I was able to feed it through the eye hooks and then connect it together at the top with a little um, gold ring and use my little jewelry tools to push it together and didn't that turn out cute hey everyone another one <laughs> I'm doing several of these on the rounds and I just think they look so cute and like I explained in my other videos if you saw them I don't know if you did that um, the the uh, reason I started doing them on this was I was looking at some different um, fused glass projects where they take um, clear glass and layer it with colored glass and fuse it in a kiln and you know it has no frame around it just like this and I thought geez we could do that with resin so um, this stands up a little bit more than a regular fused glass would because it you know it would lay flatter but I just think it's so cute I love the uh, you know that you can hang it in a window looks pretty from the back from the front and when you're doing something like a butterfly or even like a dragonfly I think it looks um, so much prettier if you can find the colored glass to do it with instead of a solid color. Uh, what do you guys think? So um, the other thing was, if you've watched my other videos, you saw that I had purchased a stand also on Amazon, which um, if you don't wanna hang it, you could put it in something like this. And I will put everything in the description. So the this stand is an eight inch stand. The uh, diameter of this actual piece of resin here is eight inches but the mold on Amazon says it's nine inches because it has like a half an inch lip that goes all the way around. Why they describe it as that, I have no idea, but I will have it linked in the description because when I first bought it, I thought, well, it's a nine inch, you know, nine inches, it's not gonna fit. All they had was eight, 10, 12 inch um, holders. And they also have holders, um, I'll link in the description, but um, you would have to, I'm thinking you would have to um, make it a lot thinner than this because they do have strips of wood with a, a slit in it and then like LED lights that you could set this in also and it would put some light on it but I think it's they're much thinner I'm going to order one and I'll show it to you and we'll see how it works with these or do we need to uh, put less resin in the mold to be able to fit it in there we'll, we'll f figure out how much resin we have to put in to be able to fit it in the wood ones um, or if you have a if you're handy um, or your husband or your son or daughter or whatever you could um, um, 
uh, you could make that out of wood yourself. That would be so simple. But anyway, so <laughs> I like it hanging. I like it. I really love this stand. I think this stand is so cute. This was on Amazon, 20 bucks, and that was the cheapest that I could find, find them. Um, they had some of the bigger ones that you could get three of them at a time, but they were, it was still kind of pricey. But anyway, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. I love to hear from you guys. I love to hear your comments, your suggestions. I love to see what you're making. My email is in my about information. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. If you want to be notified of future videos or you just like the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.